Bienvenue à la nouvelle année scolaire. Comme une ancienne étudiante aux écoles publiques de Norwich, je veux faire savoir que mes expériences ici m'ont aidé à être la personne que je suis aujourd'hui et celle que je serai dans le futur. Recently, I was asked the question, what does leadership mean to you? And unsurprisingly thought, why not ask Google instead? And that is exactly what I did. If you Google what is a leader, as I did, there are hundreds of definitions about who a leader is and what is considered good leadership. Each definition varies from the individual and their situation. However, the most simplistic definition of a leader as defined by Merriam-Webster is someone who leads others. Shocker, huh? One of the first few people to make an impact as I embarked on my educational journey after arriving to the United States from Haiti was my third grade teacher, Mrs. Davis. She taught ESL, English as a Second Language, at Moriarty Elementary School. She was relentless in her insistence that I should not stop working and trying until I had mastered the English language. As you all can tell, I indeed have a made great progress in the English language, but still, I have a lot to learn. Nevertheless, as a student, I learned to distinguish my strengths and my weaknesses because in reality, we all struggle with admitting our weak points and grit our teeth when others pinpoint them out. For example, I don't really like chemistry, but that is because I find it difficult. However, with the help of my chemistry teacher, I have become a lot more tolerant of the subject. I have had the privilege of encountering many great teachers during my educational journey, and thanks to them, I learned to actively work to improve the areas that I am lagging in by staying after school and inundating my teachers with questions. It is safe to say that a community without educators would be doomed to fail. Imagine if the interaction between teachers and students were traded in for the cold touch of a computer program. As futuristic and far-fetched this scenario might be, it reconfirms that a brain box, aka a computer, does not ignite a child's imagination like an educator can. Furthermore, in a world where the most powerful resource one could have is knowledge, continuing to grow intellectually is essential. This is why educators play a crucial role in developing and enriching the minds of the youth in our community, making sure that the future is safe and secure for every person in society. In turn, we, the youth, become the great leaders of the next generation of people. It is the knowledge educators convey to students that in one way or another remain with us in some aspect for the rest of our lives. As every person who has been to school up until at least a certain point of his or her life can attest to the influence of a right teacher can definitely have a profound effect on one's life. It is once again safe to say that the leadership of educators is crucial if not fundamental in not just our community, but also, most definitely, society. We today would not be here without the educators who made true and valuable impacts in our lives, both those who taught us and those we've encountered, whether they are principals, teachers, or support staff, they deserve the highest praise and thanks for their leadership in our schools and community. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to clap for the educators that are here and those that aren't because their leadership has brought us here today.